in the last 20 years or so, science has revisited uh, the old data and new data as well. And the emerging evidence through meta-analysis, like what was indicated before, or even comprehensive human uh, cohort studies have, are beginning to show that the association between saturated fatty acids and the risk for uh, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, et cetera, is not so clean as we would like to imagine. And so you can actually go into the literature and look for these studies. There are a number of these emerging. I've just put some of the uh, data here and they all indicate a, a single uh, trend that the older association of saturated fat with uh, degenerative diseases is not being repeated in the modern analytical tools. And we really have to ask ourselves as nutritionists, uh, what do we do then? But meanwhile, the problem is that if you look at national dietary guidelines, let it be the American uh, the dietary guidelines, the European dietary guidelines, even dietary guidelines in Asia. Now, the expert committees have not changed their views on saturated fats. They still consider saturated fat as a risk and they continue to prescribe diets high in polyunsaturated fatty acids, and uh, substitute sometimes with monounsaturated fatty acids. Mm -hmm.